job is never ending. Plus one, cold and starting to get breezy. The bees are tucked right in. So I'm actually making pretty quick work. They're basically down to the bottom. That's a natural, whoops, these guys are up and going already. Yeah, so they spread themselves back over the top when it disturbed them. But in their slumber, I'm trying to show you that the bees are down in the bottom half of the box. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is the bees are generally bottom half of the box like that so we're just seeing the tops of the clusters on the top there that are cold they're kind of just tightened right up uh, <clears throat> we're getting through so I hope the uh, oxalic acid vapor that Carrie's putting into the colonies will go check up on her after I get these strips out and hopefully the cluster is loose enough to bail to adequately treat the colonies that's one problem with it being too cold is the nests are too tight and maybe that oxalic acid isn't penetrating that cluster so we like to do it when it's a little bit warmer but uh, I think we're running out of luxury of time so we're just going to I wanted to push this oxalic acid vapor treatment as late as I could because of the remaining brood within these nests I haven't dug down it's too cold to dig down to see if there's brood still there but I wanted to push it as far as I possibly could to try to relieve the nests with as much brood as I, as I possibly could so those mites can't hide on us if there's mites in the colonies. So that's my idea behind that. And as long as the oxalic viper is getting in and penetrating that nest to be able to target those mites, then it'll be all right. But with a little bit of disturbance, like as you can have you seen as I went through, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of bees up on the top, but now that I've gone through See that cluster really loosens up after we disturb them a little bit So as we Inject that vapor into the nest that's going to stir them up a little bit and get that colony Moving and loosening up and that vapor is going to be able to penetrate that cluster quite nicely We won't have the luxury of being able to hit them twice. Sometimes I hit them twice but hitting them once, one good time, I've been getting good efficacy from that. So I'll rest on that. All right, this is all done. I got that yard to do, that yard to do, that yard to do, and then another four yards to do. So I'll try to get that done this afternoon. Maybe I'll call my wife out with me.